Um, now, I've also lived in three different continents, traveled the world a lot. Um, I've heard every, everywhere people say, we, we want peace, mm -hmm. basically. And so my question has been, if everybody wants peace, why don't we have peace? Because there are, well, for two reasons, really. Mainly, there are very large industries heavily invested in war, uh, in the sense of providing the weapons of war, uh, the strategies mm -hmm. and the motivation for the war. So when I traced this back, when I was working on nuclear weapons in the early right. 80s, I, I gathered a research group, the Oxford Research Group, to find out mm -hmm. how and why decisions were made on nuclear weapons, the most powerful of right. all. And that applies all the way through. And it came down to the people who designed the weapons, the people who paid the weapons, the, the ministries of defense, the people who provide the launching pad, the missiles, the air and so on, the intelligence people who provide the rationale, and lastly, last of all, the politicians who are in quotes approve it. But it's a whole massive industry, one that is geared to this idea that the way to solve problems is by force. Right. And that's too dangerous now. Right. 